How's it going, everybody? So, turn it on the face cam. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, and so, we're going to talk about how to get Stardust without paying. Because the other video uh, was pretty good, but it, it, it was a lot of pay to play. So, we're just going to specifically talk about how to pay or how to get Stardust without paying. So, first things first, you're going to want to find a spawn, a cluster spawn like this. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and go for the Stantler. You're going to want to go for all the evolutions first because they're going to give you more Stardust. And this is a nice low one. We're not going to use any berries on it. Um, I try to conserve my Pokeballs for my Go Plus because that's going to be a big friend <laughs> for Stardust uh, if you're trying to collect that there. Um, so get a Go Plus and you're going to see your Stardust increase. But the downside is... You're going to have to hit a lot of stops too because you're constantly pushing your Go Plus. So you're using your Pokeballs. You're going to run out. Um, and so especially if you have a gotcha. So <laughs> make sure uh, you collect those Pokeballs as many as you can and use Great Balls when you're catching Pokemon. Even for the low CP ones because it's going to save you. Um, and you're going to collect more Stardust. So anyways, basically... You're going to want to just catch everything. Go to cluster spawns, and if you're not paying, obviously you're not going to be able to drop lures. So you can use your one incubator to hatch 10Ks. If you don't have 10Ks, hatch anything else. Just hatch with your free one. Other than that, you know, your best bet is to just, oh, no, we're going to use the great ball. Is just catch everything. Um, what else What else can I say other than <laughs> other than that? Well, find these cluster spawns if you know where several, several are. Uh, hit one up, then go to the next one, and then come back like 20 minutes later, and they should all be there 30 minutes later. Uh, and you could just keep doing that. Um, I, here in Alaska, it's not as abundant as other places uh, for Pokestops or Pokemon. So it's a bit of a tedious grind in one spot, which is downtown. You're basically going to just be driving up and down the road. And if you don't have a car, you're going to be walking. I walk from time to time, but at the moment right now it's raining, so uh, I'm not going to be walking outside because curveballing and trying to catch Pokemon in the rain is a horrible idea. Uh, it just gets all smeary and you miss everything. Uh, not to mention it's just not fun playing in the rain. Uh, when you're going to a raid, that's another thing. You're probably going to be standing out there. But So anyways... Uh, you know, that's pretty okay, much it. Okay, so I was taking this gym out, and then uh, I was battling it for so long because somebody was remote feeding it, and it got to the last bit, the last blissy, finally. It couldn't feed it anymore, and it turned into this. So, ah. Anyways, uh, another technique to get Stardust, another good one, is to feed Pokemon in the gym. You could feed 10 times per Pokemon, and uh, you could feed all the ones in the gym, so... Six Pokemon in there, 60 feeds if you have 60 uh, berries. So that's pretty good. 50, 20, 20 Stardust per, per feed. Yeah. So, I mean, that's another way to click Stardust. So basically, cluster spawns, feed Pokemon in the gym, and catch everything. You know, that's pretty much it. There's nothing really to it other than catch everything. Pokemon Go Plus, okay, and and push it. <laughs> push it real good all right and that's about it um you could you know if i don't do the scanner thing but if you ha if you're using a scanner you could scan for the highest level pokemon uh stage twos and uh you know the third evolutions and just catch those you'll get 500 stardust per pop um that's a good way to uh, doing raids is not going to get you Stardust. You, if you catch the Pokemon, it's going to give you, you know, if you beat a, a Legendary, it's going to give you 100 Stardust. If you beat a Tyranitar, it's going to give you 500 uh, or any Stage 3. So, I mean, that's not a, a way to grind Stardust by any means. And it's not really free to play unless you're using your one-day pass. So, uh, this Paris is... It's, uh, no, let's go. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's basically it, guys. Catch everything, go to cluster spawns, then go to the next cluster spawn. You're going to have to try to find them. Um, if you, I can give you a good idea where they're at. 
<clears throat> parking lots, gas stations, uh, f fast food places, uh, basically those kind of spots you can tend to find close to spawns. The best place for me is a Target parking lot uh, and gas stations. They're, they're always just completely... Every time I pull up, it just makes that... Psh, all of them spawn at the same time. There's like seven or ten. So if you go back and forth between one spawn and the other, and then when you run out of Pokeballs, go hit some stops, collect more balls, and then go back to your uh, cluster spawns, and you can collect Stardust fast. Uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to get Stardust if you're not paying. So uh, there you have it, guys. I'm going to probably be doing some TM... Uh, changing some moves with some Pokemon. Let me see here. Uh, 88. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see. Uh, I was looking at... Who was I eyeing? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, Caesar. I was thinking about changing both of them over to grass-type or <laughs> bug-type moves, getting ready for the big one. But uh, I'm not even going to say the name. Uh, we're not even going to get into that because there's no confirmation. We're still waiting for Ho-Oh. So, we'll see when we get all that. So anyways, thank you for watching guys, and that's my tip on how to grind Stardust. So, let, let's run over this really quick. Catch everything, um, and I know I said it's free to play, but you might have to just buy one thing, a Go Plus. I mean, if you have one of those, you're, it's going to make life so much easier for you to collect Stardust. Uh, you can just have the phone off in your pocket, and it'll turn, you know, vibrate, turn blue, and you push it. And then you go and keep on going and keep on doing that. Uh, find cluster spawns uh, and move from one to another every 30 minutes or so. And you should be able to get that stardust up. Um, and that's about it, you know. Use your one free incubator. And if you're wondering which egg you should hatch, to be honest, uh, if you have one incubator, you're, you just hatch whatever. Uh, if you have a 10K, that's ob you, know, you should probably go for that. If you're not going to buy any more, if you're buying some, then you should never you put a 10k in a free one. Um, so, there are my tips on how to get Stardust. Um, I have a lot of Stardust, guys. So let, let's just go look at something here. Well, I have a million point two. Okay, 1.2 million. It's I've been using it. That's why. So basically, each one of these Pokemon has taken 200 Stardust to power up roughly so that's two four six eight ten that's million at the first stop so it's two million three million four million five million six million seven million eight million and it goes on all right so i've had a lot of stardust a lot i've just powered up a ton of pokemon because uh that's what i like to do and for the level 10 gems back in the day it was nice you know powering up pokemon to its max potential and just taking it into that gym and seeing what it can do uh, you can still do that if the gyms have full uh, motivation, but uh, it's not like before. I'm, I really hope they change it because at the moment, they're very simple. So anyways, we're getting off topic. Uh, all right. Anyways, I think that's about it. Wrap it up here, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Take care.